Hello, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm going to look in and see what your person is feeling, thinking. Well, I'm just doing a general checkup. I'm going to see what your person wants to say. Let's see what's going on. Six of Pentacles reversed. Six of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. The Magician. Three of Wands. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Let's see if I can straighten that out. Okay, I guess that works. Kind of. Sort of. Can I get two cards to clarify this energy? Redemption, absolution, forgiveness, penance. That death will come. Immortal, infinite, fragile. Okay, let me get one more card here. Immortal, that's weird. Okay, I got mortal and then I got immortal. Oh, you can't see that. I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> I guess it would help if you could actually see the cards, huh? Hmm. That death will come mortal. And that doesn't mean actual death. It just means like an ending. And then immortal, the consuming family pressure and peers. And supernatural, miraculous, otherworldly. All right. The energy I get here is that you want this, whatever this is, you want it to be over. Um, so it's a little bit different energy than like someone who's stuck on a toxic relationship. This is like something that you're already over or something um, that you're trying to get over. Like you're trying to focus on other things, but this person's refusing to let you go. Um, and I, my, my intention for doing is these readings was just like, who wants to come back around? Like what is, you know, what X is going to come through, especially because Mercury retrograde is coming up. So I kind of want to give you guys a warning about what you possibly to expect. doesn't mean for sure your person's going to message during Mercury retrograde, but you know, it is common for X's to come back around that time. See, this person almost feels like... They almost feel like you owe them something. It might just be, it might be someone that you just kind of got over, like someone that just liked you and you just maybe you were not on the same page with them. It was like very one-sided, like they felt a lot stronger about you than you did about them. Or it could also be somebody that messed up because we have the redemption card here, absolution, forgiveness, penance. So it might be maybe that you loved them at one time, but they cheated on you or they hurt you or they just did something or some kind of truth came to light about them and you just couldn't go back. You couldn't look at them in the same way. There's just some kind of energy here that is like whatever the reason might have been, whether it was just a lack of chemistry or whether, you know, you guys were in love, but they did something that kind of messed that up and now you're trying to move on with your life. They're, they're clinging on. They're not wanting to let you move on. Because <laughs> um, Six of Pentacles is someone... Okay, so Six of Pentacles upright would be someone who's like wealthy, who's generous with their time, their money, their energy. Um, and, and reversed, I kind of see it as you're protecting your energy more. This could be someone that is using you financially as well. Could have been someone stealing from you. Could be like a psychic vampire type too that was kind of, you know, victim energy, kind of just leeching on your energy, just wanting to, to very, like a very codependent person. Because this energy is like almost, almost anxiety producing where it's someone who's really clinging on to you tight. It's someone who does not have their own thing going on. Their focus is you. This is somebody who is like obsessed with you. They're kind of, they're obsessed with you. They're absolutely obsessed with you. They don't have... I don't know if they don't have a job or they just don't like their job, but they're not like, I don't see them being focused on school or finances or anything else. It's just all about you to them. It, like you are their entire life. Um, so yeah, I see. Okay. So the six of pentacles like reversed. I see it as like, you're protecting your time. Now you're protecting your energy. If this person was using you financially, you're protecting your finances more not allowing them to leech off you anymore, not allowing them to be codependent on you anymore, um, kind of pushing the baby bird out of the nest almost, you know, you're, you're, 
with the six of swords, like you're looking forward, you want, you're wanting to start a new life, you're wanting to meet new people, you're, um, and keep in mind, this could be a different X than the one that I'm channeling on your um, Zodiac reading. So for those of you that are following me and you, you watch my Zodiac readings, it's, it's, well, it's possible this isn't your story at all if it's not resonating, but it's also possible that this is a, um, a different X. This might not be the same X that I'm channeling for you guys on your individual Zodiac reading. So keep that in mind. But yeah, it's like at some point, and this could be in the past, I mean, it could be like a story so that you know who this is. But like at some point in the past or the the, the recent, uh, it, it be something recent, like you're kind of looking forward where you're wanting a new life, you're wanting a new direction, you're wanting to meet new people, or maybe you're focused on somebody else, maybe you left this person for somebody else. And this person is basically saying no. This person is really controlling, really clingy. They're basically saying no. They're like, I've, look at her. She's like, he or she is like, you know, no, I, I bled for this. I fought for this. I put time and energy into this. I'm not letting you go. You're mine. Like, like I own you kind of energy. Like I put, you know, I put so much work into communicating into this relationship. You don't get to just leave me now. Like they, they might be doing, for those of them that are witches, they might be doing magic on you and trying to manifest you back. They might be doing love spells on you, love drawing, um, or just putting the intention out in the universe. This three of wands here too. It's like, look at that. That's like an aggressive energy too. That's not like a sweet girl next door type energy or boy next door type energy. It's like, it's like aggressive. It's like somebody who see that the skull is there. It's like, this situation is dead. It's over. But she's not looking at that. She doesn't care. She's like going just through sheer willpower, sheer force. She doesn't care if it's dead. She's not going to accept it. She, he or she wants it back. They're going to do what they, they're going to manifest this back as much as they can. They're trying to, they're trying to make it happen. So if you're feeling like, if your person is a witch and, and you're feeling like you miss them, but you know that you don't miss them, like you kind of have this like intuitive nudge, like you're like, why would I miss this person? I'm so over them. That could be them doing witchcraft on you. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh. But I mean, you can, you can clear that energy. It's not the end of the world of someone's, I've had so many people do witchcraft on me for so many different reasons and I've sent it back to them. I've cleansed myself. You know, it's not, it's not something that you're stuck in. If they, if it worst case scenario, if they are doing that, you're not trapped, you know, but, um, yeah, this person, there's just a huge energy of like, you have to give me a second chance. We have to try again. This has to work. Um, they're not, they're not taking no for an answer. Redemption, yeah. For, so they may need forgiveness for something. Hmm. I think supernatural forces are trying to protect you from this too, trying to protect you from this this codependent energy here. I find it so interesting that we have mortal here and then we have immortal here. It's like two different perspectives. One's, one's realizing this connection is fragile. This connection has been broken. This connection you guys can't go back and you know that. They don't know that, though. They don't know that. They want it to be immortal. What do they have to say to you? I don't know if you even care what they have to say to you. I'm afraid of getting hurt. I'm willing to take a leap of faith for you. Yeah, somebody who feels like you screwed them over because they felt like they were afraid of getting hurt when they met you, and they felt like they just trusted you completely, and then it's like they're not handling the breakup well. They're like, no, like I no, like this was my last chance at love. You're not gonna, no. <laughs> Family or friends played a role in the separation for some of you. I wanna talk to you, but so much time has gone by. I'm not sure how to start a conversation. Yeah, it's someone who's just not letting you go. Could be someone from the past that you haven't talked to for a while. Maybe you thought it was long over, but they're still thinking about you even after all this time. I don't know if I'm brave enough for this kind of love. You're my best friend. I regret letting you go. I never should have left. So I wonder for some of you if, if it's vice versa. And no, I don't think that would make sense. No, I think, I feel like for most of you, you broke up with them. 
Or maybe, I guess it's possible that they broke up with you. For some of you, I feel like most of you, you broke up with them. Because I get a sense that you're like, Ugh, no, I know who this person is. I don't want this person back. I hope they don't come back. Like you're over it or you're getting over it. Like you don't want it. You don't want it anymore. You know what I mean? Like you know that you want to move on. There could still be some feeling there, um, but not much. I don't think there would be much there. I guess it's possible for some of you, they left you, like they cheated or they did something horrible or they had like a little episode or something and went off the rails and they left you and now they're like oh no come back like you're my person but you've already got over it you're like okay like screw you then bye like they left and you're, you you shut down when they left if if that's the situation where they left you know there's just some kind of energy that you don't want it anymore and they're they're refusing that they're they're I think about you all the time the nostalgia hurts deeply yeah they're not they're not wanting to let this go I want to fix this. I'm not sure where to start. You come off uninterested and detached, probably because you are uninterested and you are detached. It's so whatever they did. This person's kind of crazy too. I, I get a psycho. I get a kind of psycho energy from this person, like a slasher tires kind of energy. To be honest, I can't figure out who I am or what I want. Your energy draws me in. You're mesmerizing. You're beautiful inside and out. Yeah, you might have just gotten tired of this situation, like back and forth. It might have been someone who is just kind of. I just sense a crazy energy. I just sense like a very unstable, very codependent, um, very like victim, psychic vampire type energy. Like they don't take responsibility for themselves. It's all like, like gaslighting you. Like you hurt them. You did this, you did that. And I think maybe for some of you for a while, you were on that hot and cold merry-go-round. And maybe the last time they just messed up so bad that you're like, I'm done. I'm over it. I don't want this anymore. And now they're just like, no, you're mine. I'm coming back. You, you're, we have to do this. We're going to be together. We're going to make it work. I don't care if we have to go to marriage counseling for the next 10 or or couples counseling for the next 10 years. Like you, you, they think they own you. They think they own you. I'm thinking about what you said. I want to cuddle with you. God. You can wear makeup, but you can't cover up crazy. This is all kinds of crazy right here. I've grown up. I'm ready for commitment. Yeah, it sounds like an unstable energy. Maybe for some of you, this is somebody that you actually did love at one point, and then you just got so sick of them being such a psycho, or so sick of them being hot and cold, so sick of like... I just sense drama with this person. This person was just all drama in your life. Like, they were not... You were trying to have a stable, healthy relationship, and they were trying to have like a roller coaster like lusty crazy kind of relationship if teen dreamed what it'd be like to be married to you so yeah um just a warning here that this person for some of you that this person has not let you go some of you might not be okay so if this is resonating you with you and you know who this is some of you might not even be aware of this some of you might have thought that this relationship ended long ago and this person is actually thinking about you again, or they're doing magic on you, or they're trying to man they're stalking you, trying to manifest you back. This person, you need to watch your back. I'm not gonna lie. I wish I could give you a happier reading, but whatever warning, whoever this warning is for, maybe a select few of you, like you, this person is like a slit your tires kind of person. Like this person is is they they have not considered letting you go. They they haven't. It hasn't crossed their mind that they need to move on, that you've moved on. It's like they're to to them, it's like you and this could be it could be also that you used to you used to play these games with them. You used to go on this merry-go-round with them and now you're detaching and you're moving on and they don't they're not used to that. They don't like that. They're used to being able to manipulate you and pull you in and now you're just kinda like, Hey, I don't want this anymore. I want something new or maybe you met somebody new and they're super jealous, but it's it's a controlling psychotic energy, so please protect yourselves um, physically, like, because like I said, I got the, the car slitting or tire slitting kind of energy here. Um, mentally, emotionally too, you know, protect your energy space, because for some of you, if your person is a witch, I think that they're doing magic on you. And, and you got to clear that energy. And like I said, for some of you, you might not have talked to this person for a long time. And so you might just think like, okay, that's, that's all over with, but they're actually still obsessing over you. Um, anyway, I hope this resonates. If it does, please go ahead and subscribe. And I do paid private readings as well. My email address is below. Um, thank you for watching. And this deck right here is available to purchase too. You can just email me if you want to purchase it.
थैंक यू